Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to all of you for all the support. I send you love and appreciation every single day. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. So today's reading will bring in aspects of money, career, love, moving, travel, anything you can ask about, really. Mondays are different every week. Later in the month of April, I am going to have a four-month predictive reading for the months of May through August, which I don't do very often. So if you haven't seen one of those, you might want to check it out and even hit the bell to be notified. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. What advice do you have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Scorpio need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Scorpio? Messages for Scorpio, please. All right, we will start here with the tarot, then we'll have the angel answers. You've got the King of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Star, the Four of Cups. I knew that was going to be in here. The Four of Wands, the Chariot, the Nine of Swords, and the Two of Swords. Well, I feel like the, this little quadrant over here is all connected. Um, so you've got, a, you've got nice aspects for money. And you've, with the, the Chariot and the Star, I mean, that's wish fulfillment. It's Law of Attraction energy. We have Cancer and Aquarius here. We've got a marriage here, too, for somebody. Um, but I do feel like with the Fours, it's all about getting stability and it's order. It's with the, the it's like the four legs of a table. It's putting down a foundation. So there's something down here with this airy energy where we'll unpackage in a minute here. But with this King of Pentacles, if you're stuck in terms of a move like a job, it's I get it down here, needless worry and being afraid that you won't get the job or being fearful of moving on into something like I hear the you know, better to stick with the devil you know whether rather, rather than the devil you don't. Well, I do feel like, too, if it's somebody around you that's moving, um, like in a job, okay, you're, get, you're getting a new boss and it's this king of pentacles. This is a phenomenal energy to have as a supervisor. But this is also, too, in terms of money, it's making gains, okay? So this is a very, the king of pentacles also makes a great life partner. We'll talk about love in a minute. But it's a very calming energy. This is caring. A lot of th things will grow around you in this energy. See all those grape leaves? And so with this, it's also saying you have put in the time. You have it with the Six of Pentacles too. So if you're concerned about a promotion or you're concerned about moving on, I feel like they're saying you paid your dues here, Scorpio. It's your time to have the Midas touch. And if you're trying to start something new and you're kind of worried about putting yourself out there, or even if it's kind of creating a restlessness in your vibration where you're waking up in the middle of the night and you're saying, I'm not worried, but I'm just, I've got this damn excitement going on. I can't quite get myself balanced out. I do feel like they're trying to tell you that this is going to bring in money. Um, so, with this in terms of love, it's this is stability in all areas of life. And it's also a partner who likes to give back. It's somebody who actually cares about partnerships and love and family. And so with that six of pentacles, you are entering a time where you're going to have a very balanced energy around you. You're not going to feel like you're investing in something to get nothing back. And if you're doing some kind of, this is back to career, if you're doing some kind of a, um, like a home business where you have to invest in products, whether it's makeup or coaching or fitness or whatever, I do feel like they're saying you're going to get that initial investment back. So somebody that's saying, oh God, you know, people are accusing you of being in a Ponzi scheme or a pyramid scheme. No, 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 no. I mean, it's, there's been, those have been around since Tupperware and Avon. 
um, Avon calling. So with the six of pentacles, I do feel like too, you're going to have good people around you. If you are starting some kind of business who are going to be, they're going to be giving you guidance with the six of pentacles. Um, so the, the guy in the red has just a little more to offer than these two, but you're going to be on the receiving end of some information that's going to be very helpful. Overall, though, this does bring in balance. It's beauty. It's harmony. We like the sixes in the tarot. And so with this, you're going to be feeling like you're in kind of a, 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 an energetic, balanced energy where things just move forward and they make sense. This is not getting things given and then you feel guilty about it, okay? This is really like somebody who wants to either mentor you or give you help. Or if you are starting some kind of an, a home business, there may be somebody who's going out of theirs that gives you their product at a, a mighty discount. I get that too, where somebody says, oh, you can have it. I've been looking for somebody to give this to or to make a deal with. It helps them too. So with the star energy, we love this. It's wish fulfillment. But what we really like is all this together. All right. This is definitely a time to manifest. This is very strong. Law of attraction energy going on right here. Wish fulfillment, but you've got an internal drive. All right. With that chariot energy, it's like it just supercharges your 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 intentions, your heart's desires and manifesting. So with the star, the number seven, eight are important here. But I still get with this too that you have great companions. You have good people around you. And so in terms of a love interest, there's real love here. I mean, this is the real thing. This is it. And if you're already in a relationship, I still get them as kind of a king of pentacles type of person where they're, they have humility um, where, you know, they're not bragging and arrogant, but they're also successful. And so with this energy of the star, we rely on source energy here. It all comes from the source. So if you're in a relationship too, it's staying in alignment with source because when we start to get out of alignment, that's when we have problems in, in anything really. Um, but with the star too, I do feel like you're going to have this insight in this, this vibrance about you where people around you feel your energy. And so you may find that you do have a lot of people who are trying to talk with you, just make, you know, small talk, conversation. You may find that you get deals on things. They offer you things. I just keep this get, getting this energy. It's almost like wheel of fortune where people keep trying to give you things and it's wonderful. And in some way it does help them. I just, I feel like it's a mutual kind of a thing with all this balanced energy. And so with the energy of the star, it's, it's wish fulfillment, like we said, and it's going to be a time in your life that feels successful. It's saying you're on the right track. She is the goddess of truth too. So in any kind of relationship, people mean what they say with this. It's nothing's hidden here. There's nothing about it that's false or phony. It's really being on track and being honest and upfront about life. So the four of cups comes in and with this, another four here, um, I might've put these in a different order. They might've been like this actually. It doesn't really matter in this reading, but I just caught it. So those of you that were about to drop a comment, I saved you the trouble, I guess. With this Four of Cups, so it's this is contemplative energy. So I do feel like you're about to make a, a choice here. Now, for somebody with the energy of the chariot, it can also be a move or it even can be on the mundane level, a car. So for somebody, if you're finding that you're not getting quite the deal that you want, I do feel like you're going to have something coming in. So open up a little bit because we don't want to be so closed off. Well, I mean, of course, what's meant for you won't miss you. But with this, it, it's contemplative to a point. And then it's like, well, no, that's not right. We got to stay in the place of at least being open. So this can also be a card of meditation, though, being outside in nature, like we were talking about with the star, opening yourself up to the universe's grand plans for you. But the Four of Wands, you do have a love relationship that's beautiful here. I mentioned it's a wedding. Uh, the four pillars here are a Hindu wedding ceremony, but they're also about building a foundation. And you leave from this, whatever was restricting you, if you were in a job or in a situation where you felt like you couldn't be fully yourself or fully creative, here's where you can be exactly who you are. And it's celebratory. So in a job, it's not the final ending point. It's just a stepping stone into more. There's always more when you get the four wands. Yes, it's happy and celebration, but again, there's going to be more coming on. So just get ready with the chariot energy. The chariot brings in a very strong energy. 
It is victory. It's success. It's moving forward. But I get it with that King of Pentacles too and the Six of Pentacles. Somebody important is about to come into your life who is going to influence you. It feels more career related to me. Um, but I also feel like too in terms of relationships, you have somebody who's going to be very protective. I hear they guard your heart, Scorpio. So if you've been burned in the past and, and you're saying, I'm just not sure about love, I feel like they're telling you, Take that leap of faith with the chariot. You are secure. You're protected. The universe has you, but so does this person. Because I know it's a little scary when we start talking about the universe and faith. It's like getting on the, the back of a motorcycle and putting our arms around an invisible driver, right? And you're going, well, my God, am, you know, am I, am I going to be able to trust that? And the answer is yes. So with the Nine of Swords, we, met, we talked about this in the beginning if you have a bit of restlessness, this may be the time that you go outside and open your arms up wide. In the middle of the night, if you have a safe location, you have a, a back balcony or something or a deck and you go out and say, universe, I'm here to receive. Because with this, it is needless worry. You have protection here too. And with the two of swords, I feel like somebody here is having a little bit of a difficult time. Like, should I stay or should I go? And I feel like they're telling you, your time is now, Scorpio. So we put down the bot, the top sword that's anger, the bottom sword that is fear, and say that you are being protected. You are walking into an environment that's going to be rich and supportive. There's going to be new opportunities in a love relationship. If you've been blocking love because you say, I don't want to be hurt before, I feel like whoever this person is, that's the last thing that would happen. So let's see here what the angels have to say for Scorpio, please. Advice for Scorpio. What else does Scorpio need to know? The situation will improve. Well, I should say so. Now, twos are about um, partnerships too. So again, if you're in a bit of a stalemate, I do see things moving forward, improving health. So again, with all those pentacles, I think we did talk a little bit about the physical body, but it also can be spiritual health. It's up to you. Of course it is. Let it begin with you. And within the next few weeks, things are going to be moving forward. And you've got a yes, because you create your own reality. There's nothing off limits for you, Scorpio. I love you. And I'll be back again soon.